Welcome to the Merton Heritage Alphabet, an A to Z of our borough's colourful past. Our next letter, B, represents Joseph Bazalgette. Born in 1819, the son of a naval captain, Joseph became a talented engineer. In 1842, aged just 23, he had his own private practice, running a variety of railway, land drainage and reclamation projects. However, it was during the 1850s that Bazalgette really made his mark. Between 1853 and 1854, over 10,000 Londoners died from cholera caused by polluted water and poor sanitation. Much of the capital's sewage ended up in the River Thames, and in 1858 this led to a phenomenon known as the Great Stink, when hot weather led the polluted water to release foul odours that hung over the city. They even penetrated the House of Commons, and MPs recognised the need to act. Bazalgette was now living in Central Road, Morden, with his family. As chief engineer of the Metropolitan Board of Works, he was tasked with designing a new London sewer system to improve public sanitation. This was a vast undertaking that not only involved construction of 82 miles of an enclosed brick build sewer, but also 1,100 miles of street sewerage to carry foul water underground and out to the Thames estuary. This project also involved the construction of the Albert, Victoria and Chelsea embankments between 1870 and 1874, and the construction of a new underground railway near Charing Cross, as well as work on Charing Cross Roads and Shaftesbury Avenue, and the development of large pumping stations at Deptford and West Ham. These used what were then the world's largest steam engines to pump effluent from the capital and out to the Thames estuary. Basil Jets new drainage system helped to improve public health and sanitation to an incredible level in Victorian London, saving thousands of lives that would otherwise have been lost to diseases such as cholera and typhoid, and he was knighted in 1875 for his efforts. Towards the end of the project, Basil Jett's family moved to St Mary's House, Arthur Road, Wimbledon Park, and this remained Joseph's home from 1873 until his death in 1891. He's buried in a distinctive tomb in St Mary's Parish Churchyard in Wimbledon. You can learn more about Merton's heritage by visiting our Merton Memories website at www.merton.gov.uk forward slash memories.